Good morning, folks. As you can see, it's a gorgeous sunny day for a change here, actually. We've had nothing but grey skies and rain. I've felt very at home recently. <laughs> I have just washed my hair, so I'm drying it, sitting out here like a lizard, soaking up some vitamin D before heading to work later today. We're going to go into Venice. Also, I have some cookies in the oven at the moment, so it's already shaping up to be a nice day, and I thought I would take you along with me. from Venice. It is time to catch up on laundry and other exciting grown-up things. <laughs> it's finally, thankfully, time to take my hair down and it's time to eat. I have no idea what we're eating yet. We're going to go and have a rummage in the fridge and see if there even is anything to eat as the first problem <laughs> and what we're going to cook with it, more importantly, because it is already quite light. Today was one of those days that was just the right amount of busy. We had just the right amount of sunshine um, you know, the perks of working in a gelateria in Venice are that on a sunny day, there is gelato to be there, to be had, to be served. There are people to be spoken to. There are colleagues to chat with as you work. The downside is that now I am home and I am incredibly grateful at the, you know, the elderly age of 27 to have a seat. <laughs> that I have gelato under my nails and even, yes, still up my arm, which I uh, have yet to do with. <laughs> Venice, she was lovely as always today, um, fed me well, as she always does. But speaking of food, my stomach is complaining, so I think it's about time we go and have a break in the fridge. I forgot to mention also that those cookies turned out very well this morning. The idea being to share with you guys kind of a classic chocolate chunk cookie recipe that is in theory foolproof. But let's have a rummage in the fridge. Um. <laughs> okay, rummaged and retrieved from the fridge, we have eggs. So we're already thinking omelette. It's fast, it's got some protein, which I've kind of craving today i want some i have the delicious end of a piece of uh pecorino which will be perfect in an omelet alongside some speck that was opened a couple of days ago but is still fine <laughs> i also have some of these lovely carrots i got on offer recently i have a lemon that i've clearly used some of the juice of but not all and i think i also have some chickpeas in here so let's have a little kind of meaty, cheesy omelette with a little chickpea and carrot salad on the side. I was thinking pasta, but honestly, the thought of bringing a pan of water to the boil is too much for me, spiritually, mentally, physically, intellectually, everything, right? <laughs> My favorite ways to prepare any kind of carrot for any kind of salad is just to take a little speedy peeler. This is my true Scottish granny nature coming out, but a speedy peeler, and just turn that carrot into lovely little thin strips. This is so much faster and so much less soul destroying <laughs> than slicing it. If you have like a box grater, that's also kind of a good way to do it. But um, I only have one of those super, super fine graters at the moment that you would use for like cheese or like lemon zest. So it's not really the vibe. I don't fancy breaking my wrist. <laughs> Basically what I always do when I get to this stage where it's kind of difficult to grate, I snap it in half and I eat it like a rabbit. Because ever since I was a kid, I absolutely love raw carrots. 
So I'm not gonna be using all of these, but I'm gonna use a good amount. The leftovers I can use in other salads or in soups, in pasta dishes, or in homemade hummus. Okay, <clears throat> to season, let's throw in some of this slightly neglected lemon's juice to that. Perché siamo in Italia? Goccio d'olio d'oliva. Salt, 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 because these vegetables need it. Tabasco, because it's just one of those days. And, forgive the amount of fun I have doing that, some black pepper. And honestly, that's all I'm kind of feeling for this little salad today. So let me just kind of toss that together. There we have, super simple, super tasty, super fast and substantial cat and chickpea salad. If you've never had speck before, it's essentially just one of Italy's many, many millions of kinds of delicious cured hams. It's from one of the regions in the north of the country. It's kind of gorgeous and smoky and umami and I'm about to eat some just now. The rest of it I'm going to tear into little strips and heat up to get nice and crispy for my eggs. So I've just torn up just two slices of the speck because that honestly is enough to add just an amazing punch of flavor and smokiness to these eggs. So I'm then going to add a little bit of butter, throw in my eggs, a little bit of cheese and serve it up with my salad. The butter is in and to that I'm just adding two eggs. So just a little bit of salt, pepper, and milk. Cheese is in, eggs are getting there. Et voila. Fast filling, some fiber, some protein, some fat, some flavor. Very happy. Mm -hmm.